Hey guys, just woke up from a nap. Man, these things are nice. These are unbelievable, these chairs. So highly advise getting them, but uh, this is the Rec Pro 70 inch Charleston, I guess they call it. Theater seats, cup holders. And uh, so kind of showing you after it's installed, but let's go ahead and check out how it was done. And then here's the sofa and this thing is very uncomfortable so i have double recliners coming and it's got this i don't know what this is some egyptian pattern on here it's also on the valences which uh, maybe we'll take an update that and then also on the edge here taking the couch apart here got the cushions off now i need to take the frame apart so it's time to get the recliner chairs in got everything prepped inside ready to go there's the base unit and the back just clips onto these little brackets here. And it should be pretty easy. That base is pretty heavy. And then there's the top uh, backrest. So let's get them in. Everyone asks, Corinthian leather? Of course, why not the best? <laughs> And got it all fitted and I'm ready to bolt them down to the deck floor of the uh, slide so let me go ahead and pull these apart and I'll show you how they go together kind of in reverse um, and uh, let's see if we can get a couple screws down into the uh, the back of the chair frames it's gonna be hard to see but on the chair portion there's a pin right here you can see that and then there's a receptacle over here on the side. It has a slide in it. So the pin goes down and then slides back um, when you lock these things together. So I'm not going to be able to show that, but I'll pull the chair out now and get it out. These bases are pretty heavy. They have to be to handle the kind of torsion and stuff, the stresses that are on this. So. So there's the chair out, and now you can see the little bracket that it goes down into and then latches back. Next I'm going to take the center console out, which also has pins in it. So put the forward, and these are different on this side, let me get some light on here. And you can say the same thing, but these are bolts. And then they go down into the, the notch there in that metal rail. All right, I looked on the interweb and on the Rec Pro site, and I didn't see anywhere in the instructions or manuals or anything where you could bolt these things down. But I'm assuming this back row, and I've got the recliner, this thing almost goes flat like a bed, which is really cool. And now you can really see my mounting points down in here. So there are my mounting points. So slide the seat forward and flat all the way, and I have access. So make sure that this is 13 inches off the wall on both sides. And then I'll show you the bolts that I'm gonna use to run down through here. All right, got my screws in. Make sure, triple, quadruple check. Make sure the length of your screws aren't too far that it's going to penetrate below this deck. So you got screws sticking out at the bottom. But my deck on a 2011 Fun Finder, these are inch and a quarter screws. And I got them all the way across the back and then I put two screws on either side. So it is solid. But double check that. Make sure. The last thing you want to do is have screws sticking out the bottom of the slide and catching on stuff when it goes in and out. All right, now time for the center console. I'll get it locked in, get the other chair, and uh, that'll be it. These chairs have two posts that hold the backrest on. Right there, another one right there, and just simply slides down the shaft here, and then you have these two springs. You just lift these up uh, to unlock it. Time to get this one in, get it locked into the side channels. 
slide it forward, put my screws in, and uh, that's going to wrap it up. So one neat thing I did is uh, I put a USB charger plug in the center of this console, and I showed uh, how to do it in a previous video, so I'll put the link in the description to that video. All right, chairs are installed, and check this out. I found these tables on Amazon. I'll put the links for everything in the description. And these are super nice. Let me just push these legs apart. One table. And what I did is, this chair is a 70 inch width, uh, the recliner, and my slide is 74 inches. So what I did is when I installed it, I slid the chair over about an inch from this side of the wall. So it kind of shifted over to the right. And this gives me about four inches down in here for storing these tables. So that worked out really good, just a little trick. And I got the second one in there. Get that set up. And that's it. So what's nice, we can eat. My wife can get her iPad with the laptop, sit it here, work away in a nice table spot. So very nice. These things are about the solidest ones I could find and they have rubber feet on it so it's not gonna scratch the floor or anything. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is, uh, my wife says this is the best project we've had so far upgrading the camper. So. Uh, Highly recommend it and uh, just worked out beautiful. Can't wait to use it this summer after all the other upgrades we've done. Check out my other videos on the RV upgrade and my solar projects and my e-bikes and my hot rod builds and all that fun stuff. So hopefully you had a good time and uh, please like, share and subscribe. Hit ring the bell and hey, yeah, come on in. Oh, wow. Check this out. Isn't this neat? My gosh, this is beautiful. I know. No, I don't think it's Corinthian leather. It's some kind of rub-resistant uh, faux leather material. Oh, try it out. Yeah, pull that D-ring right on the side of your left leg there. It's like a parachute handle. Pull that real hard and give it a tug and uh, hold it out. This is nice. Yeah, this isn't is this really great? nice. All right, well, I'm just shooting a YouTube here, but uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, how about if we watch a movie? All right. Yeah, let's watch, uh, how about Star Trek II? You bet. Wrath of Khan. All right, let's get to the movie. There she is. against their shields. The base is stubborn. I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting you. I shall leave you as you left me. My room for all eternity. Buried alive. Buried alive. Sean! Sean!